Hello guys and welcome to a new class video and today we have the Desperado class. I'm gonna be honest with you guys the reason why I took time to post a video on this class is because I tried to find something that makes it somehow efficient and interesting and I failed. But either way I'm gonna provide you with all the details you need to know. I'll tell you what the upgrade does and I'll try to answer all the questions regarding this class in hopes that you guys somehow find a potential in this class that I missed and in hopes that these info can make this class useful to you. Before we start big thanks to you guys as we hit 70,000 subs and getting closer and closer to 100,000. Even with the lack of uploads you guys are still crushing it. Let's get started. So this class allows you to place a turret on the ground and use it to blast your enemies as it deals a very high damage compared to normal guns. As for the passive, it's actually better than the class itself. So when your health drops to zero, instead of getting knocked, you will have a chance to revive yourself by killing one of the enemies. As you can see upgrading this class decreases the cooldown and at the same time increases the duration by 15 seconds in both cases. And that alone should be enough reasons for you to prioritize upgrading this class whenever possible. Next, I tested the machine gun damage both for the chest and head areas at 10 meters range. So notice that it has the exact same damage with and without an upgrade which is 30 to 31 damage to the chest and 36 to 37 to the head. So now we know that the upgrade doesn't affect the damage and also to give you an idea of how deadly it is, the Desperado has 1.5 the damage of the AK-47. So it's always a bad idea to challenge Desperado users face to face. After that I tested the durability of this class and as I mentioned using normal guns against this class isn't a good idea. So the other option here is to use Novagas and the reason I'm using Novagas for this test first of all it's one of the best options for this situation and also I wanted to see if the upgrade increases the durability of this class or not. But as you can see it doesn't it took the exact same time to destroy the Desperado in both cases. Also destroying the Desperado with Novagas can be useful to you as a user. Let's say you placed it by mistake in a wrong spot so instead of waiting for it to reset you can use Novagas to destroy it and this way you can reset the timer much faster and you can use it again with less time. Another good option is the cluster grenades as it takes one grenade only to destroy this class. Next, we have the pistol damage and the revive time. Let's start with the pistol damage. In this test, I wanted to see if the pistol had special damage or not. But I found out that it's the exact same damage as the normal pistol that you find on the ground. And to give you an idea, I tested it against an enemy with a level 3 vest. And at close range, it deals 14 to 15 damage to the chest and 19 to 20 damage to the head. And it remains the same whether you upgrade your class or not. A good tip here, if you're gonna use this class, make sure you pick light ammo from the ground. Because if you don't, then you won't have much bullets to kill your enemy when you go down. As for the revive time, it takes 10 seconds and again upgrading your class won't have any effect on the revive time and it will remain the same. It's worth mentioning that after you get knocked, your health will drop by 2 HP every second. And if you manage to kill your enemy and revive yourself, you will be back with 10 HP. When using this class, you can see that it has a shield right here. This shield protects your head and chest only. But the lower part will be exposed and the enemies can target your legs easily. So if you have a teammate with defender class, you can use it to protect your lower part of the body. And this way you will have 100% protection from the front. Another good tip is using the Desperado to kill the Butcher much faster. Just make sure your teammate keeps him distracted because he can destroy it with one hit only. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! 
As for the disadvantages of this class, first of all, it exposes your location because once you deploy, the enemies can see this red indicator from far away. Second of all, I noticed that it has bad hip fire accuracy, so always use it with ADS. But the most annoying thing about this class, when you get knocked, it takes time to start shooting your pistol. Like it's already hard to kill the enemy and they made it even harder with that delay. So I think they should either reduce the time or remove it altogether. Finally, while using it, you can get flanked easily from the sides and the back, and if you do get flanked, then you're most likely dead. Every time I do a class test, I have certain questions in mind which I end up testing and usually if the test fails, I don't add it to the video but this time I thought it's a good idea to include failed tests in the video. Just in case you guys had the same curiosity as me. So first of all, I tried to kill zombies to see if it revives me but the answer is no. I also tried to kill trickster clones and it's also failed. Next test was to see if I can place the desperado on top of vehicles and I couldn't. But here's the thing, this might not be possible right now, but I believe it will be possible next season with the addition of the truck. The last question is, can other players use the Desperado? And the answer this time is yes. Your teammates can use it even if they chose another class. However, you can't use Desperado that's placed by the enemies. As always with the introduction of new classes, there is always a glitch. And I was gonna talk about it, but then I decided not to because many YouTubers already explained it. Parker alone made like 100 videos on it, and I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you guys already seen it. But in case you didn't, I'll leave a link to Parker's video in the description so you can check it out. Good. But let's say, oh yeah, I want to go and infiltrate this building here because there's a camper that's hiding in that corner. All I would have to go and do is just press my turret once, go in, and then, now I am inside of the building. I think I covered most info on this class and we arrived to the final part of the video where I tell you guys my opinion on it. I actually made a voting post after the second day of the release of this class and it's obvious that most players think it's trash. And I totally agree, this class is one of the worst next to the hacker class and honestly I'd rather use the hacker class instead. I mean you know it's bad when the passive is better than the class itself. So for now I don't recommend using it and I do believe it needs a buff. Not sure what to buff but it desperately needs one. I hope you guys found this useful and if you did a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Take my eyes open to force reality